Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. So Luis <coughs> Ortiz is a tougher fight for Wilder than AJ? Technically, yes, because he's left-handed and he's just as technical as AJ. If you understand what I'm saying, fans, it's going to be a tougher fight because Deontay Wilder couldn't use his jab effectively and the southpaw stance and the angle was hard to deal with. Okay. Not for me, because I'm a southpaw, so I can get to do my regular shell and do my regular moves. But when you're on the right hander, I can't even really be in the shell because the right hand come down the pipe and hit you. You got to know how to work the shell off that and turn the right hand and shit like that. Okay. One, Colonel DeChivo, you already know what it is. We here with Boxing Ego. You know what I'm saying? Sports Connect. Eddie Hearn of the UK, promoter of Anthony Joshua, yes. says Joseph Parker, his upcoming opponent, March 31st, is a tougher fight for Anthony Joshua than Deontay Wilder. Agree or disagree? Why or why not? So for Joshua, I'm his upcoming fight is Parker is tougher than Wilder. No, he's not. Um, I disagree, but that's what Eddie Hearn is supposed to do because he's the promoter, so I understand that. But he's not a harder fight than Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder is, has technique on top of being wild so you don't know what's coming kind of when you in there with a technical person you know every move oh my god when you in there with a technical person you know every move that's coming because i'm technical so i know this is a this is a jab this is a straight this is a hook this is an uppercut and you know what every punch is because that's how you work it on the mitts that's how you work it on defense to evade the punches but when somebody is doing this and don't like the stereotypical Mexican style, that, that's hard to deal with because you don't practice for that. You're not practicing catching punches up here or getting hit behind the head. Is it also too because in sparring, it's going to be hard to find someone <coughs> with Wilder's frame, yeah, most definitely. his power yeah. that's doing it. Like So on top of throwing <coughs> the awkward <coughs> angles, to have his wingspan, his height, yeah. his power, level of power, it's hard to match it's things hard. identically yeah, in, in sparring, right? It's like finding, like finding somebody who fight like Floyd. You'll find Good people, people who look like Floyd, but then not doing all of this stuff. And Floyd do the experience yeah. that Floyd has, so, this and that. All of that. So that's why it's kind of like you got to have a couple different yeah, sparring partners that do a lot of things that the fighter does, and then you just rotate them. So that's why they do that. Gotcha. You know what I mean? But Eddie Hearn just doing what he's doing as a promoter. Uh... But it's not going to be a tougher fight than Deontay Water. It can never be. Ever. Who wins, Joseph Parker or Joshua? I'm going to go with Joshua in a tough fight. Because Joshua don't have no defense. He has zero head movement. I hope he got some. Um, people are just... I see people are really fascinated by muscles. Muscles don't win fights. IQ and, and execution wins. And Joshua Water has a great body. Pause for... You know, for an athlete, he's very, he's good, in good shape. He lift, you know, he do his thing, but that ain't got nothing to do with boxing at the end of the day. Because if you look at Ali's body, he wasn't ripped, but he was the greatest of all time for a reason. His boxing IQ, and he was special. And Tim Bradley was probably one of the most rippedest welterweights. Yeah, and Pacquiao had him doing that. No, cartwheel. no power. You know what I'm saying? Did, did Pacquiao have him doing a cartwheel or pa something? Uh, Pacquiao made him do a, a backwards somersault. <laughs> and Tim Bradley is a cool brother, but yeah, cool. I mean Pacquiao, <laughs> he was on the juice and he had crack. So what can I say? You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, you know you when you interview me, I'm gonna keep it 100. Y'all need I to go on KillerTainmentLLC.com and, <laughs> and subscribe. This is gonna be some foolery on there. Wow. Would you like a toothpick? No, I'm good. Are you Razor Ramon? Chico. I'm hit your ass with that. Cuerno, Cuerno Ramon. Razor's edge. Hey. Wilder's the best heavyweight? <coughs> Wilder's the best heavyweight by default, but I'm giving him his full props. He's the best heavyweight because he's beating the best heavyweights. Okay. So he's the best. You, you kind of broke down from the promoter angle how it makes sense to promote an upcoming fight with Joshua. Yes, sir. Do you think Joshua, if he gets past Parker, should fight Wilder next? Or should he fight someone like a Gerald Big Baby Miller, Wilder fights whoever, Dominique Brazil, Povetkin, or something else, and then they meet later? Or should they just go ahead and get out the way? 
You know what I think they should do? I think they should get it. I think fighters who try to like prolong that shit, you get that Pacquiao effect. Because if Pacquiao ain't been the same since he lost against Floyd, if he would have just, if he would have fought him, if he would have just knew earlier that he had problems with slick fighters, he wouldn't have had them problems. But I think Joshua should just fight him now. So that way if he lose, he can rebuild. Them, hey, listen, bro. Ricky Hatton got stopped by Floyd and was still, and they still loved him. Still. The UK supports their people, bro. That's why Joshua's a millionaire. It's over here when you lose, they don't support you like that. Especially when you're a black fighter, they don't support you like that. All the other countries, they support their people. They don't support black fighters in the, in the US like that. But over in, in the, on the UK, bro, they support Joshua. That's why he making 15 million. They selling out them 80,000 arenas. So whether he win or lose, it's not gonna hurt his stock. Whether Canelo lose against Triple G or not, it's never gonna hurt his stock because the whole country of people love Canelo. Can't lose in, in that case. You know what I'm saying? And I, I think I think the new age boxing fans too will probably give you props just for just for taking, taking it. the the best versus the best fight yeah, that man. they want to see you fight. They are starting to put that shit together now where the best are fighting the best and you we can't, are getting some good fights, bro. You getting some good fights, bro. You can't duck and hide forever. And then it's gonna make AJ look crazy because he keep ducking. It's like he's literally ducking. Who? He doesn't want any work with that man. Who? Uh, AJ keep ducking Wilder. It's a. It's clear. It's clear to you. It's clear. Can Stevie Wonder see it? Listen, Stevie Wonder can see that 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 Deontay Wilder, motherfuckers are scared to fight him, bro. Don't nobody want no part of him, bro. Listen, if people don't want to listen, if people don't want to fight Golovkin, and he don't even knock people out cold, you really think somebody don't want to fight a six seven, two hundred and fifteen pound? man from Alabama who is full capability and says, I'm going to knock you out and can do it. He's knocked out every man he's ever fought, bruh. He has a 100% knockout ratio. It's 98, but it's still 100 yeah, because he went back and knocked out the Vern. How was that knockout? I haven't talked to you about that. Well, it was one of the most brutal. I was there at the Barco. It was lit. It was it's because that 80-inch that reach, when he turned that corner on Stavern, Stavern was kind of hurt, and he couldn't gauge the distance because Deontay Wilder could be standing right here and hit you in the doorway. You know what I'm saying? So once he once he hurt him, he couldn't gauge the distance. He threw a one-two down the pipe, and, and then after that, it's over. Once you know what I noticed about how I know Wilder really has power? Because he hit your gloves, and they be he still yeah, knock yeah, you like, out. Some of it looks like it's not flush hitting. Like imagine You don't have to be flush when you get somebody concussed. All you got to do is ring their head. They already concussed. True, true. Hey, I, I like Wilder's attitude with the power. He knows he has power. He did an interview talking about the Spilka knockout, and he said it was like he grated some cheese. He said he hit him on that chin, on that button so cleanly. The, he said it was like slicing cheese. When you hit somebody, see, Pete, the casual fan don't understand. When you hit somebody so clean, you don't even feel your hand hit their face. It feel like you just punch straight through the air through a piece of paper. Oh, smooth like that? No, I swear to God, bro. When you hit somebody... When you hit that dude in Mexico, that's kind of what it felt like? No, it, that's what, exactly what it felt When I stopped the dude in Mexico, that's what it felt like to the body. Sometimes okay. when I hit people hard, I could feel that I hit them hard because I could feel my glove and the, the foam and the glove would disperse and I could feel my knuckle hit they, the bones on their face. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you hit them, you'd be like, ooh, I knew that was a hard shot. You know what I'm saying? But when you hit people with that shot shot... You don't feel anything. It just feel like you punch through air, and then they be gone. You be like, damn, I didn't even hit them that hard. But you did. And it always come when you don't load up. And and, and, and it come when you least expect it. It come when it come. Yeah, it just come when it come. But you definitely want to pause that. Is the Joshua win over Klitschko, this is something that's debatable to a lot of people. Uh -huh. The Joshua win over Klitschko. Yeah. And Wilder's win over Luis Ortiz, are they comparable, or is it like the Klitschko win is just like way better? No, no, absolutely not. The Klitschko win is um, the Klitschko. No, you can keep talking. The Klitschko, the Klitschko win is still a good win because he's a good fighter, man. That 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 it don't matter. I, I mean, he older, but at the same time, he's still a good fighter. And what if he would? He was damn near about to beat Joshua. Then what people would have said then. See what I'm saying? Well, so, some people are saying Wilder's win is not that impressive. Why? Because they're saying he doesn't have the resume still. I don't know. I don't know why. 
But they're saying like Luis Ortiz talking. is 89 years old and all these excuses. Chris about- goes older than Luis. Ain't he? Yeah. So what the fuck? Man, hey, bro, people just be talking. Luis, Vladimir Klitschko is like 50. Still boxing, bro. Yes, he's still good, but he's he's older than Luis Ortiz. He won like a gold medal in like 81. Come on, bro. What are you talking about? Let's make sense, bro. Come on. He won a fucking gold medal in the the Cold War, bro. Olympics. Come on, man. Luis Ortiz is probably like 38. How old is he? 38? He's listed at 38, but you know some Cubans defect. And they said they don't have birth certificates or something. Yeah, so. I mean, but then he's probably 38, bro. Come on, man. What you gonna call it? A 67. Who? He was 67 when he fought Lennox. Or one of them other cats. Vladimir. No, Vitaly fought Lennox. Yeah, or, or who the Vladimir? When he fought Shannon Briggs. Then he Vitaly fought too. No, that was Vitaly too? Yeah, both of them. Yeah. They, uh, that was like David 60. Hayden. That was like 63 then. What? <laughs> Come on, bro. People just don't want to get Deontay as props, bro. But you, you, listen, man. When somebody keep doing what they doing, bro, you can't keep a good man down. So keep doing your thing, bro. You, you the best. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.